Hello everybody. Welcome to Học Tiếng Anh với Joseph where we build vocabulary and practice pr- pronunciation through reading. This episode is a very special episode. Congratulations for having stuck with me for 74 stories. So, as you can see, there's a little cat in the box. There you go. The cat in the box. One of the most famous and most misunderstood thought experiments involves a hypothetical cat that is neither dead nor alive, or maybe both dead and alive at the same time. It was put forward by the Austrian physicist Erwin Schrödinger in 1935, following discussions with Albert Einstein about what they thought both regarded as the absurdity of the accepted understanding of quantum physics. In the 1930s, the accepted image of what goes on in the quantum world was known as the Copenhagen Interpretation, because its leading proponent was the Dane Niels Bohr. This interpretation sought to explain puzzles such as the dual wave particle nature of things like electrons by saying that quantum entities become real only when they are observed. An experiment designed to find a wave will indeed find a wave, while an experiment designed to find a particle will indeed find a particle. But you can never see both aspects at once. And when it is not being observed, a thing like an electron exists in a fuzzy, indeterminate state known as a superposition. The act of observing or measuring a quantum entity forces it to collapse into one definite state. The rules of quantum behavior worked out from experiments made it possible to calculate probabilities for the collapse of the superposition into different realities. But you can never be certain what is going to happen. Schrodinger sought to demonstrate the absurdity of this package of ideas by scaling up from the level of atoms and electrons to the level of cats. No real cats were involved. The experiment is purely a mental exercise. But it is still revealing. Schrodinger asked us to imagine a cat shut up in a sealed room with an ample supply of air, food, and water. His original German paper referred to a chamber, but somehow in translation it has become known as a box, with unfortunate implications for the cat's comfort. And the whole thing is known as the cat in the box experiment. In its sealed chamber, The cat has all the essentials of a comfortable life, but there is also what Schrodinger called a diabolic device that monitors decay of some radioactive material. If the radioactive material spits out an alpha particle, the device will crack open a bottle of poison and the cat will die. The rules of probability that apply in the world of quantum physics, and especially the Copenhagen interpretation, make it possible, in principle, to set up such an apparatus in such a way that after a certain time, there is an exact 50-50 chance that the decay has occurred 
and the alpha particle has been emitted. But there is an equal probability that nothing has happened. Nobody has looked at the experiment. So according to the Copenhagen interpretation, the radioactive material is in a superposition, poised between decaying and not decaying. So said Schrodinger, the detector must also be poised in a superposition. The border of poison is poised between being open and closed. And the cat is, be, is poised in the superposition of life and dead states at the same time. It is only when somebody opens the door of the room and looks in that the whole system collapses into one state with either a live cat or a dead cat. Schrodinger thought that it was absurd to suggest that the act of looking in the room could affect things in this way, and that therefore the Copenhagen interpretation was wrong. Not only wrong, but ridiculous. This did not stop people from using the Copenhagen interpretation. Some people still do, because the equations work, whatever the interpretation you put on them. But the thought experiment generated a continuing debate among the theorists about where to draw the line between the quantum world and the everyday world. Can the detector be regarded as an observer that causes the superposition to collapse? And how about the cat? Surely the cat knows if it is dead or alive and can trigger the collapse without human help then there is the possibility that there is no collapse because there is one world in which the cat lives and one where it dies. This is known as the many worlds interpretation of quantum physics. Many because you need one world for each outcome of every quantum level experiment. None of this affects the calculations. If you want to design, say, a quantum computer, the equations are the same, whichever interpretation you favor. Most quantum physicists keep quiet about the interpretations and just do the calculations. But the puzzle posed by Schrodinger with his cat-in-the-box thought experiment is as puzzling today as it was in 1935 and hints that for all the success of the calculations, we do not really know what is going on in the subatomic world. Now to the vocabulary section. Misunderstanding. Misunderstand. Misunderstanding. Misunderstood. Hypothetical. Hypothesis, hypothetical, neither nor, neither nor, either or. Absurdity, absurdity. Quantum physics, quantum physics. Proponent, proponent. Puzzle, puzzle. Fuzzy, fuzzy. Indeterminate, indeterminate, indeterminate. Superposition, superposition. Collapse, collapse. Mental exercise, mental exercise. Comfortable life, comfortable life. Diabolical device. Diabolical device, probability, ridiculous, ridiculous. Thank you so much for sticking with me so far. And as usual, I will see you in the next story. Bye for now.